Hi guys, my name's Rena Cole. And my name's Kate. And we are here today for our podcast called Chai and Chat. Chai and Chat. <laughs> okay guys, we're back. Did you miss us? Because we missed you. Yeah, ching, there you ching. Go. ching ching. I've got a question for you, Rena. Yeah. I I want to understand like your take on, you know, being a, an artist in the industry, mm-hmm. um, like your mental health, how how does it affect you? Like even even if it's not just like music related. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Every day to day life. Yeah. Um, I, I think I think you've asked a really great question, by the way. Thank you. And I think <laughs> um and it does connect to social media, obviously. Mm. Um, but first of all, it comes from within. Yeah. And I'm I'm a quite happy person. Uh-huh. I'm a quite a jolly person. And what happened was is that sometimes in my life, and you'll probably be able to relate when you've had bad relationships or something, you hit rock bottom mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you lose all your self confidence. Yeah, yeah. um, and for me, it's um, I put on loads of weight yeah, yeah. and I was stripped of my confidence. Yeah, I get that. You know, I mean, obviously, saying it to you, like you're so slim, mm-hmm. and you know, I probably think you wouldn't have that issue. No, but you saying that is like, you know, for me, mm-hmm. I obviously when I've been up and down and going through my bad times when people sit and say to me oh you've lost those weight it looks skinny or whatever yeah. it affects me too because no I way. know I know like I'm not feeling my best and I can see my figure myself and I'm like I don't feel confident yeah so there's the flip side for you yeah you said you gained weight yeah mine is I can drop weight quick and yeah. rapid yeah and it affects me too so yeah. I completely get yeah. what you're saying but it does to people with confidence doesn't it yeah. and it's only now um I want to say big up to Ellis my PT from Dubai you smashed it I love him I yeah. swear no, I mean, you absolutely smashed it as well like, he said to me I remember when I had my first meeting with him and he said something to me he said when you look in the mirror, how do you feel? I yeah. says, I don't like looking yeah. in the mirror. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. like you say, even though people think Cades is all slim and mm-hmm. this and the other, but you probably inside, feel like, yeah, inside. Feel good, yeah. And that inside feeling affects your outside feeling, yeah. doesn't it? It makes you feel like, I can't do this and I don't want to do this and this and that. I feel ugly. And when I put my hands up, I actually Googled it mm-hmm. at one point. You know, why do I feel so ugly? Yeah, yeah because my inside was ugly yeah yeah so when i started my pt sessions and then then i looked that better in myself you inside and yeah. then outside uh-huh. i actually look in the mirror and i think oh god you look a bit yeah. 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 do you know what i mean it's no i know when you don't feel it yourself like you can have me and so many other people around yeah so you're so beautiful and yeah. i say it all the time yeah. like you're absolutely yeah so just perfect in uh, my eyes and, but when you don't feel it yourself, yeah. it, it really... Anybody could tell you that when you... It was, yeah, yeah. It's how you feel inside. Yeah. But men, mental health is something that, yeah, I struggled with a lot in my life. Yeah. Um, to the point where you just don't want to live anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but with God's grace, you get good people around you like yourself. Mm-hmm. And my family and people like Ellis that make you feel so much better. Yeah. I mean, social media don't help, does it? It doesn't. I don't know. I mean... We've both had so many struggles with it, and you know we mm. can speak about it. But it's just that pressure. I mean, the one thing with social media now that scares me in this day and age is that I've got two nieces that are growing up in yeah. this in this generation. Yeah, you know they're eight and nine, and they're t- you know I've heard them talk about skincare. Yeah, routines. what? No way. Like, yeah, like, like, don't like, put that yeah. in. <laughs> you know, but yeah. it, it's scary and it's sad and it's like there's so much expectation of what you should look like or you know like for me I, i'm not gonna lie i'm forever on it and i'm like always i always compare myself to yeah, others 100 percent. and um and, that, and that's a confidence killer on its own i think people say to me oh one time i'm like oh maybe i want to have lighter hair i'm dying to get my teeth done i want to be a little bit you know bigger chested and little all those yeah, things i'm, yeah, I'm yeah. never happy i've yeah. never been content or you know happy with myself and i think that's one of my internal struggles um which I've always just had that battle with. Mm-hmm. And I think that comes from a place where I, I don't love myself enough. And I think that spirals from where, like, my relationships have also had a negative impact because of my insecurities. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's had, like, a big impact on the way I view myself. Do you, do you and, mean when you're in a relationship, you yeah. feel like insecure you're not as... Right, OK. Insecure as... Um, I think that's like from 
that previous relationship trauma where I've, not, I've never felt good enough mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I've not felt good enough in myself. Mm-hmm. And I think it fluctuates. Sometimes, like yeah. I say, you have a good day and you're looking around and think, oh, yeah, you look yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. But then the other times where you're looking around and think, oh, fucking hell, excuse, excuse me. Because yeah. <laughs> that's what I look like. Yeah, yeah. And that, th- those times for me outweigh everything. Yeah. So I know myself, even like today, mm-hmm. moving forward, I've got a long journey of like healing and self love that I really need to do. Yeah. Because on the outside, like you say, we're sisters, yeah, and I love you and I think you're beautiful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think there's anything that I would change about you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, but it's the insights you yourself, yeah. you, your own worst enemy is your own brain. Yeah. It is. Where it's telling you you're not good enough. Yeah. You're going to be like this, you're going to be like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's the problem. They're saying that the mind is the devil. Yeah. And that is so true. Like, yeah. And I feel like I'm constantly in like a battle with my, my head and like, the soft side of me. Yeah. I'm like, I'll give yourself a break and then my head's up, no, no. you need to do this, you need yeah. to go book to have this done yeah. yourself, yeah. this, that and the other. Yeah. So I can't catch a break. And I yeah. just feel like I'm in that age now where I'm like, I can't be bothered anymore. Yeah. I haven't got anybody else to impress. And I don't think it's about impressing someone else. No, but it shouldn't be I think, that. you know, this is what they say and it's, it's probably, you know, a proven fact yeah. is that you are your best self when you're single. When you're in a relationship, yeah. right, you put on so much weight and you just kind of let go. Oh, it's okay. Do you know well, what I mean? When you say that, you've yeah. known me my entire time I was in my previous relationship. Yeah. How many times did I see you, you'd always say to me, Katie, you've lost weight. Yeah. You look skinny. Because you were so stressed. I mean, my the other way around, I bloody put on weight because yeah. we've seen you so much weight. But it? it's not the point. The point yeah. of it is, is that... You, when you're in a relationship, you do tend to neglect yourself yeah. to look after somebody else. 100%. And then when you're single, I've had this conversation with one of the guys who works for me and we have a good laugh because we say that, you know, it's your best life when you're yeah. single, it's the best life, you know, because it's all about you. And it's about what do I want to do? Yeah. You know, how do I want to feel? But when you're in a relationship, and especially not a healthy relationship, yeah. it's like, oh, you know, they didn't like me. Do I need to fix this? Do I need yeah, to fix that? Yeah, and that was my problem. Like, I was constantly insecure and always comparing myself. And, like, you know, I was obviously in a secret relationship. Yeah. So I was hidden. I wasn't, I was never made to feel like, oh, you know, that person wanted to show me off and, yeah. and feel yeah. good about being with me. So I was constantly like, oh, I'm not good enough to be like shared. And I didn't need to be plastered all over social media, but just to be acknowledged. Yeah. Because when someone loves you, they're proud of you. Yeah. And if they're not proud of you, that means they don't love you. Yeah. And that's the bottom line, really, isn't it? Mm. You know, and that's sad. It's sad because, you know, we know that you're a beautiful person inside and out. And anybody that has you in their life, you know, will deserve you. Thank you. You know, it's not like, you know, I'm going to sit and say the relationship was all one-sided like you know like i said to you i had you know mm. weak points and i wasn't ever like a sexual that's okay. well. that, that means you know you were always hold yeah. my hands away exactly, in the wrong. Exactly, i would yeah. always say mm-hmm. okay do you know what call my hands up here i was in the wrong yeah but i think like i said the insecurity thing of me not loving myself enough and feeling confident in myself i just let it spiral mm-hmm. and i i just yeah, it, it got out of control. I yeah. think where I am today is, you know, as much as it hurts inside, but maybe it's God's blessing in disguise. Yeah. And you're in a bad place. This could happen. I've never seen you be so productive. No, no. Like, you're like, no. you're doing this and you're doing that, and you're doing this, and you've got this big gig coming up soon as well. I know, but I feel like there was a lot of that relationship that just, I was restricted in a way, and I would go up and down. Like, it wouldn't even just be like, oh, because she said. It would be times where I'd just be like, oh... I don't know if I want to be a DJ. I don't know if I want to do it anymore and yeah. stuff. But I think about on the flip side of when I have had my downtime and been on my own. Mm. That's the only thing I can actually say. I'm actually all right out and good out. Good and out, it's yeah. like, it is a passion of mine. Yeah. And why shouldn't I like, pursue it? Why shouldn't I do these things, yeah. you know? So... I mean, on, on my on my side, I've got a really supportive hus- husband. You know, yeah. he's so supportive. And you know, when I do a gig, he'll message me if he's at work. He'll say, 
go and smash it my superstar. Yeah, no, I mean, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And this is what makes me feel like. Yeah. And and every time I see him, he'll say, you're gorgeous, you are. Do you know, know, these kind of things and that I love That's, that's being... nice and yeah. healthy. Yeah, definitely. You know, one day, I hope that comes my way. And it well. will do. It definitely will do. But I feel like you having that support there um, from your husband is just a massive boost itself, in yeah. way, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It feels it like the time... The thing is, a relationship has got to be a balance. Mm -hmm. When one's down, the other one will lift you will up. You. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And vice yeah. versa. So I think that's really important. Yeah. Yeah. So that brings us to the end of our podcast today, mm -hmm. Kate. You know, we really, really, really hope that, you know, everybody likes to watch it and listen. And um, we're going to put it onto YouTube and put it on other platforms yeah. because we want to be a voice for other women to be a voice as well. Yeah. So, and just something for people to relate to. Yes, you know, definitely. If there's anything that Rina's gone through, anything that I've gone through. Yeah. Well, just to be relatable. Just, yeah. Which is real. Yes. <laughs> we're real. Yeah. Can't say that. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say real, but then we're going to have some book words be like, oh, what do you got Botox? And look at this in your lips. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I don't know why people say that. Only if they knew what we really had done, which is not a lot at all. No, yeah, basics, isn't it? I was thinking, my eye, you know, my eyelids are like, they're going a bit saggy. Can you see? Yeah. Do you know when I do videos, I do this, and it looks like I've like, had stretched Botox, but honestly, I haven't. It's like... I just got a habit of raising my eyebrows when I do videos. So when you see me get passionate, and it's so like my eyes are like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't sing today because I've got a throat infection, so that's enough from me today. And mm -hmm. Kate's gonna do the singing. Uh, what, 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 Men don't <laughs> <laughs> She's a cra crazy kid. But thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our podcast and we will see you next time. And please, if you feel that you relate to our video, make sure that you share it with the rest of your friends and give us some ideas of what, um, what you want to hear, the topics you want to hear yeah. and anything that you've been through. And if you know of any inspira inspirational women mm. that have the passion to be a voice for other yeah. women, please um, let them know yeah. that we are open to yeah. doing podcasts with other, others as well. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah, exciting. <laughs>